about to do a profiling shot with the Chrome One Two B. Um, it handles the profiling using a pressure sensor behind the group there, and it varies the speed of the DC pump to maintain the pressure. Now the other shots I've been doing, the slow ramp up shots, have just modified the voltage of the pump, but they haven't managed pressure, just to give a slow ramp up to maximum pressure. This way, we're going to actually be directly modifying the pump in response to changes in pressure. So, let's get a bit of coffee up. Okay, and we're gonna produce a shot using a profile one that I've saved earlier. In fact, I saved it last night and I've made one or two shots of that profile. So we're going to actually produce a shot now. Okay. Now my cup is dirty because it's the, I've just had a coffee not so long ago. I'm just going to use the same cup. And if you watch the screen here, this will show the details of what's happening. The first thing is I've got a, a barista knob here, which you turn and this will show the profiles on the screen. You can see recipe one and I press it and that says lift the lever. That's what that symbol means to start that profile. So I'm going to lift the lever and start that profile off. And as you hear, it's very, very quiet because once pressure is being modified, the pump's voltage probably never goes to the full 24 volts. And it'll run this very low pressure ramp um, and then gradually start to extract the shot. And you can see now it's extracting it. It'll ramp up to just over nine bar, about 9.2, 9.1, and then start to ramp down. And it will indicate to me, I think, that I need to lower the lever soon. Can you see? It's warning me with that flashing lever symbol. Now I lower the lever. Uh, what that's for is to prevent the lever being left up, because the machine's very quiet, with you sort of being unaware you had to lower the lever. Now, it's pretty accurate. Uh, what can vary sometimes is the amount in the cup can vary. So towards the end, when you see the lever flashing, that's also a reminder that you check your weight and you may want to stop slightly earlier if you're hitting the weight of espresso for your ratios that you wanted in the cup. Say, for example, you wanted 32 grams, then you would lower this lever at 32 grams, regardless of whether the profile has finished or not. Now that would simply now um, run that profile again and again and again if I kept lifting the lever. Um, if I press information there, that shows the profile, which shows uh, centiliters along the bottom, which is uh, naught to about 120 mil. Yeah. And then that gradual pressure rise to the peak of nine bar, and then the gradual drop down towards the end of the shot as I approach the maximum volume. So that's like gives you a little visual indication of what your profile looks like. We'll go back from that. Uh, it's that one. And how you do your profile is I did a shot manually and adjusted the pressures manually on a shot and then saved that profile, which is now in the machine. So you create them manually on the fly and then you save them and then you can reproduce what you manually did. Now, of course, this is in, um, in this machine in a text file that's stored within the memory of the machine. And at the back, inconveniently placed, but at the back is a USB port. You can put a standard USB key in. You can export your profiles and actually they're just text files. You can edit them and fine tune them on the PC if you want, and then re-import them. Um, you could even change their name. So that, it, it, it's a very flexible function, this. And uh, Chrome are going to be able to make a lot more of this in the coming years. And then if we press the Home button there, we're back to our normal soft start non-profile profile, which I've already done a couple of videos of. But as I say, turning them 